and smile Cause it's been a while It's been like a whole day Since I stopped so you could hold me But this child awaits Strong in the faith Lord, you are the refuge That I can't wait to get to Cause I can't let it You bring to my life and ooh. What's up, what's up, children? How are you? I'm here with teacher Eric, yes. and he was trying to show me some moves. Yeah, yeah. I am learning. I hope you also tried the moves at home. Yes. How are you, teacher Eric? I'm fine, thank you, teacher Gladys. How are you? Very fine. It's good to see you. It's good to see you too. Yes, yeah, so before we begin the lesson of today, we are going to pray. Father Lord, we thank you. And we glorify your name. Thank you because this is a beautiful day that you have given unto us, O oh God. Even as we are here to learn, Lord, we give ourselves to you that you may teach us. And in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray and believe. Amen. Amen. So as you have always done, don't uh, forget to share, yes. to subscribe to mm -hmm. our channel if you've not yet subscribed. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. to comment and let us know what you are learning. Yes. Remember, yes. share with many friends. Share with your friends. Na marafiki marafiki zako. The friends of your other friends, okay? Uh -huh. And yeah, your yeah. cousins and the cousins and the cousins. Everyone else. Wow. <laughs> so today we have an interesting lesson from Mark chapter 10. And you're going to be learning from verse 46 to 52. Do you know what the story is? The story is Jesus healing a blind man who was called Bartimaeus. And so before wow. we begin our lesson of today, we are going to try something. Teacher Eric is here to help me try. Mm. So you yes. see we have, uh, can we show them, teacher? Yeah, we have something very beautiful here, a craft, as you can see. And we'll be doing uh, something very interesting, which I hope that you'll stick around to see. Yeah. So we are going to uh, blindfold ourselves and see how we are going to color this craft without seeing and see <laughs> between me and teacher Eric who can be able to guess right and to see how hard it is for you to do some things when you cannot see. So we are going to blindfold ourselves. Teacher Eric, are you ready? I'm very ready. So we have uh, this craft and we have some crayons over here. Yes. So we are going to divide them into two. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. And the goal is to color inside the picture. Mm -hmm. See the way you always color inside the picture? That is the goal. So ah. we blindfold, and within uh, 30 seconds, we should be able to color inside the picture. <laughs> we'll see if we can try. It <laughs> seems like a hard challenge, <laughs> but ah, I'm up for it. <laughs> yeah, and at least put the, la the right color for the hair, for the clothes, for the hands. Ah, so no problem. Your that one's very easy. Thank you very much, teacher. I hope you're ready to be there. Yeah, I'm also ready. Let's blindfold ourselves. Okay. Okay, here is your. Oh my goodness. Hi, are you ready? No, wait, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> this blindfold is taking time. Okay, I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready? Hiya, the work begins within the next 30 <laughs> seconds. Mm -hmm. Let's see who can color where. Yes. Yes. Okay, let's go. How can you tell it's red and you can't see? I'll put green. Are you sure you blindfolded yourself? I'm, I'm seeing everything. I'm done. I'm almost done. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Am I able to see the lips of these people? Oh my god. Okay, this is I'm very almost hard. done. I'm I'm seeing colours. Okay. You can't find the other colours. <laughs> <laughs> Teacher, you can't find the okay, oh my goodness. I'm colouring it the color upside <laughs> down. You okay. can try this at home with your brothers and see. It's yeah. very interesting. <laughs> oh my God, I can't wait to see what I've colored. She have only touched two colors. Okay. okay. So I'm told that our 30 seconds are... <laughs> so 
Let's see who colored where. Mm. Oh my God. <laughs> so, we are going to begin with teacher Eri. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Kids, are you ready? Mine is very smart. It's very beautiful. Let's go. <laughs> Mine is very beautiful. <laughs> it's very beautiful. He colored, oh my goodness. Oh, mine is, is worse. <laughs> Sha, let's see. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Two colors, three colors. <laughs> I thought I had used three. <laughs> ah, at least I tried. Wow, that's an interesting challenge. Try at home and see how yes. how it goes. So thank you so much, teacher Eric, for You're helping me do this. Very much Now we're going to remain with the children and yes. dive in into the lesson of today. Wow. Bye, kids. So as you have seen, it's very hard uh, to do some things when you cannot see. Can you imagine? You would not be able to watch the TV. You would not be able to choose uh, the dress that you like to wear. You can't see. And uh, for people who can't see, it's very challenging for them uh, to do some things. But these days, it's better for them because of the technology. At least they can go to school. They go to special schools and they are trained on how to do different things. But in case we find someone who has a, a problem they can't see, we are always supposed to help them. So a uh, long time ago, there was this man. His name was Bart Myers. So he could not see all his life, for the longest life, the, the, the how old he was, he had not been able to ever see. He had not seen the trees. He could only hear the voices of people, but he could not see them. And so because he could not see, he could not be able to do different kinds of work. In those days, the kinds of work people used to do were maybe to go fishing or maybe to go to the farm or maybe to sell things in the market. But because Bat Myers could not see, he just had to sit by the roadside and beg. And he would ask people, would you please help me with some money? Would you please help me with some money so that I can be able to buy food and clothes to wear? So Bat Myers had lived like this all his life. But one day, as he was seated in the street and he was still begging, he had many people making noise. A crowd of people were making noise. And he wondered, why are these people making a lot of noise? And he was told, Jesus of Nazareth is passing. And so, but Myers had heard about Jesus. And he had known that Jesus was a healer. So, when he heard that Jesus was passing, he began to shout, Jesus, son of David, please help me. I need to see. Jesus, son of David, please help me. I need to see. And when the people heard that he was making that noise, they shouted at him, But Myers, can you be quiet? We need to hear what Jesus is saying. But, but Myers could not be quiet. He called out again. Can we call out together? Jesus, son of David, could you heal me? And the people shouted at him again. Could you be quiet and, and stop distracting us? But, but Myers shouted again, and Jesus heard him and asked, Who is that who is shouting and calling me? And people said it was Bat Myers. And Jesus said, told the people, Tell Bat Myers that I'm calling him. And so Bat Myers took off his coat. He had a coat that he had always covered himself with. He threw his coat away and went to where Jesus was. And Jesus asked him, What do you want? And Batmaya said, I want to see. And because he wanted to see, and Jesus had the power to heal, Jesus told him, go away from today. You have been healed. And you know what? Batmaya began to see for the first time. He was able to see people. He was able to see the light. He was able to see the beautiful, beautiful flowers. He was able to see Jesus. Formerly, he had only heard about him. But today, he was able to see Jesus. What a wonderful miracle for Bart Myers that he had grown without ever seeing, but then he was changed. And from then, he could be able to live a normal life just like other people. 
And this story is teaching us that Jesus is so much full of love for them that have different types of problems. Jesus has a lot of compassion and love in his heart to reach us and to heal us. And secondly, we are learning that Jesus is all powerful and he's able to heal all our diseases. Did you love the lesson like I loved it? Yes, Jesus is a healer. And so we are going to learn a memory verse today from Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 14. Can we say it again? Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 14. Jeremiah is in which testament? Jeremiah is in the Old Testament. And Jeremiah was a? Yes, Jeremiah was a prophet. So, Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 14. And what does it say? It says, save me and I will be saved. Heal me and I will be healed. For you are the one that I praise. One more time. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 14. What does it say? Heal me and I will be healed. Save me and I will be saved. For you are the one that I praise. And you know what? Jesus does not only heal our physical bodies. He healed but miles of his physical bodies. But he's also able to heal our hearts. When we are sad, when we are suffering, when we have been hurt, when we are feeling lonely, Jesus is able to heal even our hearts. So when we feel sad and we feel lonely and we are afraid, what do we say? We remember Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 14. And what does it say? Heal me and I will be healed. Save me and I will be saved. For you are the one that I praise. Wow, that's a wonderful verse. And in line with that verse, we are going to make a Jesus heals me heart. Why? Because we have said that Jesus is full of compassion. He is able to heal our hearts and he is all powerful. So we go on to our craft. And what are we going to need for our craft? Let's put these crayons away. We are going to need a manila paper and we are going to cut it in a heart sheet okay so you draw it with a pencil and then you cut it out so on this heart i have some elastoplasts with me and then i have some felt pen so what are we going to do what do we use this elastoplasts to do when you have been cut you put them around the wound so that you can be healed so we are going to put these in our hearts to show that Jesus heals even our hearts. So we are going to cut them, open them, and put them around. Yeah, like that. So when we are lonely, Jesus heals our hearts. When we are feeling afraid, what does Jesus do? Jesus heals our hearts. Yes. Like that. Even sometimes, some children, and we pray for you, sometimes we even lose our loved ones. And what do we do when that happens? We pray to Jesus that he will comfort us. So when we are feeling very sad and, and we are very uh, disappointed, what do we do? Jesus heals our hearts. So we put this one over here. And he makes us happy once more again. Can you imagine how happy Batmaya's was? Yes. So we cut this out again like that. And we put it over here. 
and then we are going to write on top here that Jesus heals. Good. And then we are going to write our memory verse over here. Our memory verse was Jeremiah. What chapter was it? Chapter 17, verse 14. Good. So here we have a Jesus heals me heart. Wow, did you love it? Let's give a clap to Jesus because he heals us and he helps us to see. And even as we come to the end, we are going to sing. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. We sing together. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. To see you highly lifted up. Shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love as we sing holy, holy, holy. I want to see you, I want to see you. Wow, so that marks the end of our lesson and we are going to pray even as we come to the end. Lord, we bless you because today you have taught us that you have the power to heal, that you heal our physical bodies and you also heal our hearts. I pray, O oh God, for these children. I pray, King of glory, that you may open even the eyes of their hearts. You may heal any of them that is aching in their hearts, Lord, that they may be able to see you even in their lives, O oh God. I pray even for them that are physically ill, O oh God, may you touch them, may you heal them, may you deliver them from every infirmity, King of glory. Thank you because you are faithful. Thank you because you're still doing the miracles even in our ages, O oh God. We bless you and we exalt you. In Jesus' name, we pray and believe. And together we say amen that marks the end of our lesson until next time bye bye